Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're having a fantastic week. It is now Thursday. We're getting very close to the weekend. It's going to be a very boring weekend in my opinion with no football. But I'm going to bring out a couple of videos. There's going to be a collection video of, in a sense, my Legion United shirts. But look how nice this one is. I just got this one the other day. If you're going to, uh, I think it's Soccer Draw or uh, Sports Soccer or something like that, you can go there and buy yourself some retro Legion United shirts. So I'm going to give... Um, a, a, in a sense a video over the weekend of my collection or it might be during the week we'll have to wait and see how I can schedule it in but overall I'm very very excited for the season of course as you see by the title of the course as you see by the thumbnail has Daniel Parker had a poor start has Leeds United had a poor start and I'm I'm going to say yes and no I'm going to say yes start off with um with the results, with how sometimes we perform on the field, of course. When it comes to Daniel Farkasai, when it comes to the Bundesliga, when it comes to Norwich City themselves, they've always started off slow, haven't they? They've always started off like they struggle, they dominate games, but they always struggle to have that final third, uh, like, stru like a structured final third where they're going to go out there and, and, and bag two, three, four goals a game. And under Daniel Farker, with the team that we have, it's a lot better in my opinion. We've got a, a lot more calibre uh, qual and, and quality players than, than than what Norwich did under Daniel Farker. But overall, when it comes to uh, the poor start of the season, I think we could have um, sealed out a couple of games a little bit better, especially the one at um, Birmingham City. I thought... With Dan James, he just, I don't know, that stupid little that little knock in the 90th minute was just, I don't know, it's just, it's just one of those things, isn't it? But overall, when it does come to the positives, we've got nine new signings coming through the door. Yes, we've lost Sinistera, but Jaden Anthony, I don't really know too much about him, but Jaden Anthony, from what I've seen and from what I've listened to and read, He's going to be a great asset to Leeds United. I'm really, really excited to see how he's going to be uh, implemented into Daniel Farker's squad. Of course, we've got a lot more depth now, more than what we've ever had, you know? So that is a positive. When it comes to like the likes of Pascal Stroik, Ilan Meslier, Dan James, even Ian Perveda, Jamie Shackleton, all these are the types of players who struggled massively under previous coaches. And of course, when Marcelo Bielsa was in charge, these players thrived, you know. And I'm not going to sit here and say that Daniel Farkwick is exactly like Marcelo Bielsa because he's not. He's not exactly like him. He plays the same type of football where it's progressive football, where it's attacky football, possession-based football. And that's how he wants to play. And of course, there's always going to be some sort of negative. There's always going to be some sort of like backdraw when it comes to this type of football. And I think this is why Leeds United brought uh, Jed Spence in because Luke Ayling, yes, he is decent going forward in my opinion. But when it comes to the defending part of his game, he's not quick enough. He doesn't really have the, 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 the capacity to run and recover as quick as Jed Spence. And I think this is why I say so. This is why he's been brought in because obviously he has that attacking threat but he also can come back and defend when needed. When it comes to positives on the field, I do see a lot of positives. The one thing that is frustrating me is that I feel right now Leeds United are very easy to read. When we play out wide, it's always it always seems to be Jamie Shackleton to Nonto, Nonto cut inside. Or we play it down to Somerville, Somerville cuts inside. We try to pass too much as well, you know? And I think that, that comes down to lack of quality going forward lack of like create creativity as well going forward and this is why when it came to the likes of Pablo Hernandez in the, in the Marcelo Bielsa system it was so pivotal and very vital that we had a player of his quality to in a sense pick out a pass that no other player would risk taking and make movements as well like like it's it's not noticeable but this is why he was called the magician and, and I think this is where Leeds United struggled so much in the in the window because with Perot now playing as a number 10 which to me it doesn't I don't really think it makes total sense for him to play behind the striker when he should be the main striker where 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 is the creativity going to come from because at the end of the day the only creativity that we're going to get is through Ampadu in the sense he progresses the ball out to the wings 
and then when Lunto and Somerville have got nowhere to go, the ball always goes backwards, you know? So this is why I said, like, the positives are that we have great ball possession, we have great attacking threat, we have the ability to go out there and demolish teams if we really wanted to. But the negatives of it is we just don't score enough goals. We're injury um, rabid at the moment, of course. It's great news that a lot of players are coming back after international breaks, so it's nice to see them being implemented into the team. But with the likes of Birmingham City, there's West Brom, Cardiff City as well, the games that we should have really controlled better, the games that we should have, in a sense, picked up more points from, I think it has been a slow start and it's, it's expected. I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't believe in Daniel Farker because I do. I'm one of his biggest supporters. But what concerns me is... After seeing that game against Sheffield Wednesday with how easy it was for them to cut out passing lines and have that low block and have that mid block and just sit everybody in front of the ball, it's worrying that every team is going to look at that blueprint and be like, okay, well, this is how we do it against Leeds United. We we jam-pack the midfield, we jam-pack the defence and we go from there because otherwise, once it's narrow, once it's tight, Leeds United have no answers. You know, and that's the worrying side of things. But the positive side for me is that the we we how we play in with the quality of players that we've brought in, with the quality players that we already do have. I think Daniel Farker will do wonders with this team. Of course, when it comes to the January transfer window, I think the 49ers will look at that and be like, okay, well, we need to maybe get a new left back in. We maybe need to get a new centre back in just for cover. We need to get a new number 10, a striker. There's all a couple of positions where we would, in a sense, like to improve. It's just whether the 49ers will go out there and improve. I'm not going to say, sit here and say that the 49ers haven't done a good job because they have. Because if you compare it to the likes of Victor Orton and how Parag Marath is doing uh, business, it's so much better. We brought in nine players for just under £30 million. Pounds, or we brought in one, Brendan Aronson, for £28 million quid. You know? So it's business well done. It's a championship standard team with quality and depth. I just hope and pray that the uh, the quality can show and we can, in a sense, stop being so frustrating and just start scoring goals when we have the chances. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment your opinion below as well. We're getting very close to 2,000 subscribers, so once we do get there, we'll be giving away uh, Legion United Shed. I think we're only about 40 uh, followers away, so make sure you smash the like button, smash the subscribe button to be entered into the giveaway, and I guess I will see you in the next one. Peace.